Hi, and welcome to the Open Air Free School. Today we're going to talk about substrates with growing mycelium, which is the rooting part of the mushroom. On a lot of these videos, you have a difference between mushrooms and mushroom roots. A lot of the videos that talk about how to grow mushrooms, they're actually talking about how to grow mushroom roots. So I'm talking about how to grow mushroom roots, how to grow mycelium. A lot of the things I learned are from Paul Stamets' mycelium running, and so you get the basic idea that we're going to be running mycelium today. Now I've converted a refrigerator into a mushroom incuba incubation unit and I'm going to pull out this first chamber and I'm going to bring it into the light. What you'll see is that we have Pleurotus ostriatus fruiting and myceliating in the same chamber. This is birch, cardboard, and pine cones. You can see the fuzzy stuff on here is the mycelium roots. And in a later uh, lesson, we'll talk about how to fruit, but right now we're just gonna talk about how to myceliate. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna provide a really nice, humid, and slightly damp atmosphere. As you can see on the end of this root, or on the end of this uh, mushroom, there's a root growing. And I've got wheat germ and cardboard. I've got some grass, some hair. I've got a whole bunch of things in here that I've mixed together and that become a nice soil, which we call substrate. Now the wonderful thing about cardboard is that the mycelium will run along here and then when it, where it's card corrugated, they'll run within all the individual little ridges. So you get a lot of mushroom growth that way. And then here, you'll see mushrooms that are running on this little bit of corrugated cardboard here. And it look, really does look a lot like styrofoam. See? Hold it up to the light. This looks like a little bit of styrofoam growing on a piece of cardboard, but it's not. This is completely organic, it's, and it's the roots of the mushroom. And as you can see, it's easy to touch and transplant. And we'll put it right back in. We've got another one running here as well. And in the other container, you'll see that the cardboard looks really kind of fuzzy. And that's what the roots look like. You want to keep the cardboard slightly moist. And you can do that just by spraying it with a mister or putting a little humidifier in the space. Now, little other design that I've created here, as you can see, is out of this milk jug. Cut the milk jug in half, and what I've got is sprouting rye, and the mushrooms are eating that, along with the grass and the cardboard and the birch and the and the wood, wood mulch. And wood mulch is really simple. You just take a piece of really wet wood here and it'll crumble. I'm not gonna do that too hard with this one because this one's already got mushrooms on it. So then I'm just gonna crumble that. You see, and you can imagine a big log that's just crumbled be able to have lots of space for mushrooms to grow. 
and we'll put that right back in here. Have one more container to show, and this one has bananas. These are banana chips, and what you'll see on the banana chips is kind of a really fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzziness there. So you can tell that with mushrooms, they will eat just about anything you put in there that they can break down. Mushrooms are at the base of the ecological system, which means that they eat everything and everything eats them. And you'll see I have a sweet potato and the sweet potato also has fungus growing on it. And here I have onion skins. Let's get rid of the red eye. Onion skins that are growing and myceliating in here. Great, okay. Well, we'll come back and we'll talk about how to fruit later. And we'll let these folks take a little nap now. I'm going to want to make sure not to keep that closed for too long because otherwise they won't get any oxygen. So I'll make sure to get them oxygen. This has been a lesson of how to grow mushrooms on cardboard in a refrigerator. Part of the open air free school. And remember, the open air free school is open all the time. Thanks and come again.